nice and warm in here. Let's put down this ISO a little. These two heaters that my dad got. What's up, guys? Sorry, didn't completely forgot about making an intro for some reason, but I don't even know how to begin this video because I don't even know how I'm going, what this video is going to be about. And then we have this thing going, and it's starting to really smell. So, it warmed up, I think, enough. Oh no, it's still pretty, pretty cold. We're starting to smell like gas in here. But I think after the gym, I'm gonna unbox this, and I'll show you guys. All right. I need an exhaust, and a stretch, and to lower it. Oh, look at that. And then your dad tells you you gotta take out the trash too before you go to the gym. Well, I'll let you guys watch me. Uh, if I don't look dumb, I don't know what. Okay, relax. Chill, I'm going. This is getting out of hand right now. I just hope my camera doesn't fall. Alright, I'm gonna go to the gym now. And I will be back after to unbox my new Harbor Freight Jack which I had one before and it was, it was amazing. So we'll get to it after I get from the gym and I'm out of breath. Be right back. Just got done with the gym. Gonna check what you guys sent me right here. If it wants to focus on it. Okay. I'm gonna respond. All right, just got to the gym. Open up a few Snapchats from you guys. If you guys don't have me on Snapchat yet. Oh, there we go. Add me. Okay, now let's get home and look at the look at the jack that I got for Christmas. Jeez, I could not get that out. Oh, so much warmer in here. All right, dry my shoes off. Christmas from my aunt, I got this Pittsburgh three ton floor jack, a low profile with a rapid pump. So, I used to have, where is it? This. It's an aluminum 1.5 ton racing jack with rapid pump as well, but the roller right there, uh, the Bolt snapped and it just isn't like I put a new one in and it just isn't holding as well as it normally would. So I was like, well, instead of me buying one, why don't I just ask for one for Christmas? And I got one. So Santa brought me a three ton floor jack. This one's a lot bigger, it can lift up the car way higher, which in some situations the 
racing one just wouldn't be able to lift the car high enough. It would lift it high enough, but just not enough. This can probably lift it. I'll put the specifications like right here, but I think it's like six inches more, which is a lot. If you've worked on cars for a pretty long time, as people say, every inch counts. I'm gonna grab a knife. We don't have an actual knife because they're all broken like this. <clears throat> this should do. One. Two. Three. Alright. I'm gonna put this back so no one pops a tire. This one, yeah. Gotta reorganize this thing. Alright, so I put the camera in automatic mode. I usually shoot a manual. But because there's so much like light and dark spots in the garage, I don't want to keep like screwing around with the settings of the camera. So I'm just gonna put it on man on automatic and see if it is okay. If not, I'll switch it back to manual because sometimes it likes to screw around and give the wrong settings or settings that I don't like. So yeah. Oh, dude, this is huge. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Alright, let's see this. I don't think there's a lot of setting up to be done. Yeah, I just have to assemble the two, uh, the, the stick. What is that? The, uh, I forget what it's called. I don't know. Who cares? You guys know what I'm talking about. This is heavy. Oh my gosh, look how big this thing is. Oh. oh my god, it's huge. Okay, so there's this. Where's the pad? Does it not come with a pad? That would be kind of dumb if it didn't. I don't think it does though. It doesn't, wow. Okay, just put these back in here. I'm gonna set you guys down here. Alright. See, this is the exact reason why I need a wide angle lens, because it's like it cuts off, I don't know even know if you can see me or not, but it just cuts off really short and it makes me mad. I'm gonna assemble this thing right here. Do I need to do anything to this jack before I can use it? I don't think so. Let's read the instructions. Uh, nah. Oh, there's a block in there. All right, it's ready to use. All right, so he. All right, so he asked about the carbon fiber center console inlays. So I'm currently the first vendor that I talked to. He like was asking like three, three fifty or four hundred bucks for it. And I'm just like, that's way too much. That is just ridiculous because I paid like half of that. Uh, so I'm gonna try. I'm, I emailed like two more vendors, seeing if they could give me like a better price if I buy a few. So uh, I'm gonna try and get a price between two fifty and three hundred dollars since that's around how much I paid for it. Uh, so I'll keep you guys updated about that. All right, let's 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 get this pad. Look how small this thing, okay. I'm actually gonna take this out, maybe. Okay, I can. Stupid bike's in the way. Do you guys want more videos about this thing? I'm planning to do a stretch and lower on it and an exhaust and then handlebars to make it look a little nicer. But let me know. Maybe I'll make a few videos in the summer about it. This is really sketch. Hopefully I don't drop anything on the car or the bike. We're good. It's so much bigger. That's what she said. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. Oh, I got grease all over me. 
So, I got it now. I can lift it up. Okay. I don't know if I said it in my previous video. It, when you have a rail, you use a hockey puck so you don't ruin the rail. Oh, it's actually right there. Look at that. Look at that. I thought I lost it. So, basically, you put the hockey puck on there, and you can see the lines that went across. That was my rail, and it, it held it up so it didn't, like, bend it or crack the, uh, the coating on it. So, let's see a comparison on, on how much higher the 3-ton Pittsburgh one versus the 1.5. Oh, my God. <laughs> this thing is, keeps going. <laughs> Oh my god, no way. Look at this. Okay, now it's now it's at it. It just kept going. It's out of frame too. Both of them are. Look at that. <laughs> the uh the three ton one is like straight up. The one the one point five is like on an angle. So I would even say that's more than six inches. On camera it looks a lot like smaller. But the ton one lifts it so much higher. I don't know if I'm going to end this video right here, if it's going to be long enough. But if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like, comment if you have guys have any comment, comments or questions about the jacks, about my car, anything. If you guys like my channel, subscribe down below. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. God damn it, now i got to drag both those jacks over there. I'm so lost in a world of black seas now. Lost in the water, got me looking for the keys now.